everybody, I know I failed miserably to do my every Sunday May videos. I did one with my planner at the beginning of May, then I spent a whole Sunday doing pocket letter for someone and that took my whole Sunday and then I was too exhausted and you know I filmed the next video the next day and then um, the other two Sundays or one Sunday it was the birthday my birthday week and I had all kinds of things planned and I couldn't really film so I'm so sorry for not keeping my promise to do a video every Sunday plus I have a lot of different kinds of thoughts about this channel about what I want to do for the future I really want to uh, grow this channel or um, uh, join the partner program on YouTube but currently this account is screwed basically because I had signed up with a different email which now is connected with this account and I can't sign up with another anyway it's all very confusing and it's a very long procedure to correct this and halfway through the procedure it it stops it says please contact us and anyway it's going round and round and round in circles so I'm thinking maybe I should open another channel which will mainly concentrate on uh, stationary project life pocket letters planners things like that and this channel here which is called of course jump by makeup will remain about beauty plus as I come from Greece maybe I should start doing a couple of Greek videos uh, videos in Greek style in Nika. so all my Greek uh, subscribers uh, can relate and uh, can uh, we can talk in Greek so all these thoughts that's why I stopped for some period to make videos and didn't really follow my promise of every Sunday May Plus, I really want to do Vlogmas. I have been dying to do it since last Christmas where everybody was doing fantastic Vlogmas videos. And me living in gorgeous London will be very, very interesting to do Vlogmas. So all these thoughts have gone in and I really um, want your opinion as well. What I should do and um what are the best things to do in for the future however enough chatting <laughs> this is a may favorites uh, video so on this video i will mainly talk to you about my uh, beauty favorites and then i will do another video for uh, my uh, random favorites so starting with a hair product you know that I raved about the Charles Worthington boost booster spray and uh, volumizing booster spray fantastic product it does what it says literally again on the tin however I don't know what it smelled like fish whenever I sprayed it I couldn't stand the smell it was like I was in the fish market but on my hair so I was very happy to find this product here this is the Dove oxygen and moisture root lifting spray and it is I have used it quite uh, quite a few times and I still have a lot inside it's amazing it lifts the root it gives volume to the hair and um, there's no smell it's I am so happy that I found this and I know that Dove has amazing hair products so I'm going to try a few more uh, from this range and it's the advanced hair series 
oxygen moisture for fine flat hair like mine and then it says lift hair from the roots for added bo body and volume so I just uh, take my front of the hair I lift it and then I spread and then I let it set and dry for a couple of minutes it's very good for uh, giving volume I would highly recommend it because you don't have the fishy smell now the next two products um, are both kind of the same thing and kind of the same brand and I am talking about the Garnier micellar or micellar or micellar however want to, you want to call it cleansing water may I please clap this must be the, either my third or fourth bottle I tried a lot of other cleansing waters I tried the boots the L'Oreal the even Bioderma when I went to Greece and my eyes were stinging with most of them especially Bioderma I jumped to the roof and my, I screamed and this baby here is incredible it takes the makeup off with one fine swoop and uh, no stinging eyes it lasts quite a long time it's a quite a big bottle it's around five pounds it's not expensive at all and da -da 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 -da, it now has cleansing wipes incredible or what so instead of getting the big bottle to my trip in Greece I took one of these babies and I found a double pack in Superdrug again they are like two pounds three pounds very cheap amazing results and you know a cleansing wipe is quite big so you can have your whole face with one wipe I, I can't believe how happy I am with this product if this is a dream come true King of Greece I went for my mom's 80th birthday and I had a lovely time and of course being in Greece in Athens I went to Sephora and I really don't know why we don't have Sephora in the UK honestly they, they are in every other country in the world France USA they are in Spain I think in Dubai everywhere there's a Sephora no in the UK there's no Sephora I don't know why I know that you can shop online but I think the products come from USA and they're quite you know the postage and the customs are quite expensive so I'd rather not to shop from the USA so when I went to Greece I got a Sephora fantastic Sephora a concealer brush and this one is of course from a Sephora brand Pro Airbrush Concealer number 57 and uh, the way it applies the concealer and it's nice and fluffy I think the hair is um, synthetic I think Sephora has synthetic hair but they are equally smooth and fluffy as the uh, Real Techniques brushes and this is quite a big bulky brush so you can buff the concealer in and then smooth it out and I am so happy that I found this and I like the fact that it has its little house that you can put it back in and protect it I think I need to wash my brushes today after I film this anywho speaking of concealer and grease and all that I love the Greek brand Kores I know it's very popular here in the UK I've seen a lot of youtubers speaking about this brand and I am very proud that this amazing beauty brand is Greek and as far as I know Kores is a homeopathic pharmacist in uh, Pangrati an area in the center of Athens that's where he started and now he has this 
amazing conglomerate beauty empire and uh, I got two items and I know they are very pure and very uh, natural product this is the almond blossom moisturizing cream and it is uh, of course all these are natural products by Cores and I am so happy when I put this in on my face it's like my skin I can feel it tightening and lifting and being young and oh my god it and then it smells oh absolutely divine it is like i don't know it's flowery it's quite flowery because it comes from almond blossoms and i absolutely love it the next Corey's product i got is the concealer and I got these two at the duty free at the airport in Athens. So when I put the, I opened the concealer, the tester at the airport and I put a generous as you do drop of concealer on my hand, I might as well use it as a foundation all over my face because it is so thick that a very tiny teeny drop will cover the whole eye and sometimes i use it for the other eye it is very very thick consistency and i am very happy with the results it does do uh it does do <laughs> do 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 uh cover my dark circles which i have another product for that unbelievable remember a few months ago I bought this product and I did a whole video because it was recommended by Tanya Burr so this is the Olay Regenerist Luminous Dark Circle Correcting Swirl it has reduced my wrinkles around my eyes my dark circles my puffiness I put it every single morning for the past few months and I've got little left and it's around 20 30 pounds I can't remember worth every penny this is the business I don't know if more expensive creams like creme de la mer or Clinique I've tried Clinique I didn't see the results uh, the only one I remember that had similar results was the Benefit Eye Cream, which I can't remember now the name. This one is even better, and I absolutely here we go again with the absolutely I adore it, and I'm definitely going to get another one when this one finishes. Another skincare product this is the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum in Oil and it replenishes and recharges moisture and you put it um, at night before your moisturizer and it feels incredible the skin is so soft the next morning and um, anything that is with vitamin E I blindly trust it and this one uh, has replaced my vitamin E serum which I had bought from Superdrug and I have done a video with the whole vitamin E Superdrug range last year and this one has replaced it and I am so happy with the result it has a very pleasant smell and it is very smooth on the hand and when you apply it it doesn't leave oil residue it's not oily it's 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 very good as a serum which is purer it doesn't have all those strong chemicals and it's not aggressive to when use. i went to athens to sephora i bumped into the anastasia counter and i always wanted to try the anastasia eyebrow products and 
I saw a couple of videos that suggested that the best eyebrow product is the Brow Wiz. And <laughs> oh my god, how right they were. Because this baby here is very, very tiny little waxy um, pencil. It makes incredible eyebrows. And I am keeping it for very special occasions. I am still using my slick pencil for every day. This one here, because it's so tiny and because it's waxy and because it has this uh, fine little tip over here, it you can literally as this. <laughs> Why do I use this word today? I don't know. You can actually sculpt your eyebrows into perfection. Eyebrows on flick with this. And of course on the other side it has a brush which helps you um, shape your eyebrows and comb them and it's quite a rigid um, brush. So this is the Brow Wiz Crayon Dark Brown. Now I heard that um, the um, brand Soap and Glory is doing a similar kind uh, with archery and I haven't tried that one yet because I still have half a slick uh, pencil to finish. So when that finishes I'm going to try the archery one and compare the two and let you know. We're nearly done. Has anyone tried the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit? When it first came out, I snubbed it. I went to Boots and someone stopped me and said, sit down, I will put this mascara on your eyes and you will see it's incredible. And I put it on, I tested it. I didn't like it at all. I said, that doesn't do anything for my lashes. However, there was this sample in L a few months ago and I started using it and it is very good. It's not incredible, it's not wow, it's not, in, uh, you know, I didn't get the same wow reaction as when I first tried the, um, the real mascara again by Benefit but it is actually a very good mascara and I have to say for a little sample like that I've been wearing it for the last couple of months and I still have product in here and I'm using it every day and it's fantastic size to have in my bag and I am I am very pleased with it actually and I'm thinking of getting the actual size when that one finishes. I remember a few videos ago when I was saying that I wanted to find an 80s kind of pink glossy and pearl, pearly um, uh, lipstick. Well, I went to Boots, I searched a few bits, I got a couple of uh, lipsticks, but all of this time without me remembering it or even knowing it, I had this in my um, lipstick case all this time. And this one is by collection and it's called Perfect Pink and it is number two. Look at this color and this incredible hue and texture. This is the actual pink from the 80s that I was looking for and I had one, the 17 Bellflower one, which I adored and I have never found since the 80s. But this one is a very, very close color. So I am so happy that I have it, that it is from collection, which means it's not expensive. And my lips will have this color throughout the whole summer. And 
finally, how could I not include nail polishes? So these are uh, from the new Sally Hansen range of Miracle Gel nail polishes. This is the color and you put any base you want on your nails and then you put the color and then you put the top coat and you don't need the lamp for these gel nail polishes. This one is number 160 Pinky Promise. It's a beautiful pink color, though the light is a bit weird now. And this is a gel um, top coat and it takes me 15 to 20 minutes to do my nail. Uh, I have another today, but I'll do them maybe later. Put the color, put my uh, gel uh, top coat and in 15-20 minutes my nails are done, dry, not dusted. So very good for quick solution and it has a range of beautiful colors. I got this one which is a simple one but it has other beautiful colors but I think I've got every single color uh, of nail polishes that ever existed so I didn't want to buy anything else and I got this nice pink one which is simple. So these are my main favorites and stick around because I'm going to film my random favorites and also um, very soon I'm going to um, announce what are my future plans for this channel or for another channel so stick around give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet and um, see you very soon in another video bye